Born and raised in the Allegheny Mountains, Henry Louis Gates grew up in the small town of Piedmont, West Virginia. Mostly working class, Gates fondly remembers Piedmont. My children will never know Piedmont, never experience the magic I can still feel in the place where I learned how to be a colored boy, he wrote. To the young Gates, everything seemed a world away. Nightly gatherings around the television opened a world not yet discovered. Sports, actors, comedians, and the civil rights movement unfolded before his eyes. Literary works introduced by a nurturing teacher opened a new world of vocabulary that took him on journeys television could not. He indulged in one great work after another. Television and books helped him dream of a world outside. His dream to be a doctor. Nicknamed Skip by his mother, Henry unearthed another passion that would begin his life's work. Upon the death of his grandfather, Pop Gates, he was introduced for the first time to photos of his African roots. Deeply intrigued, he set out on a lifetime journey to discover his ancestors. Breaking free from the mostly blue-collar working class of Piedmont, he attended a local college, transferred to Yale, and graduated summa cum laude. He received an Andrew W. Mellon Fellowship to Cambridge University, the first African American to be awarded such an honor, and sailed away to earn his master's and PhD in English literature. And in 1981, he was honored with the MacArthur Foundation Genius Award. While in graduate school, he married Sharon Lynn Adams. They had two girls, Maggie and Liza. With his education complete, he was not the doctor he had anticipated being. He was now a doctor of so much more. A confessed literary critic and teacher, his work took him to prestigious universities across the country. Finally stopping at Harvard, where he developed and today leads the Hutchins Center for African and African American Research. His influence has been far-reaching as an author and executive producer of ancestral research in African-American history. He has received more than 53 honorary degrees and prizes, as well as numerous awards, including an Emmy, Peabody, and was the first African-American scholar to be awarded the National Humanities Medal. His recent research led to discovering his own ancestral connection to an American revolutionary, African-American soldier, inducting him into the Sons of the American Revolution. His passion and love for his family, African-American history, and our own family heritage inspires us to discover more. The boy from the hills of West Virginia has opened a new world to our past and a view to who we are.